What's going on guys? My name is John Stacks and this is my latest salvage auction pickup. It's a 2010 Honda Accord with just 40,000 miles. Usually I don't buy cars like these, but it only had 40,000 miles and it sold for $2,650, which was an absolute steal. It barely has any damage, which I'll show you in a minute, but typically I like to buy sports cars like this R32. This was a clean title pickup with just 47,000 miles. If you want to see what it looked like, I'll link the videos down below. But first let's do a walk around of this car. We'll go over the damage and then make sure you stay until the end because we already got the parts to fix it. We're gonna fix it this video and do a full price breakdown all in one video. So let's start by doing a quick walk around of the damage. Up front, just minor dents and scratches. You probably can't even see it on camera. Uh, this entire side is in perfect condition, no damage whatsoever. Moving on back here, this was kind of a letdown. The bumper had prior body work and some body filler, so the paint's peeling, it was hit here. That was an added expense, but I can't complain. It was only $100 for a new bumper, which I found at a local junkyard. The main reason this car was totaled is because of the damage to these doors. As you can see, the front door was hit pretty hard but I think the B pillar should be fine. We're not gonna know until we put the new door on. And this rear door was scratched up as well. And a little bit of the rear quarter panel, but this might even be able to buff out. Easily. Yeah. Uh, so like I said, we already picked up all the parts, the rear bumper and both doors for $300. And we're gonna fix this thing in one video and do a full price breakdown. Overall, the condition of this car is excellent. So let's go ahead and take a look inside and then start it up. Tires, decent. Yeah, they're not bad, they're at least 70%. So let's take a look inside. I did clean it up before this video, but there's no damage here. Airbags didn't deploy, nothing like that. <clears throat> there are some cigarette burns down there, but that's nothing to worry about. Let's take a look at the miles, the best part about this car. Right there, 41,981 miles. That's nothing for a Honda. Any lights on the dash? No lights. And it came with half a tank of gas. Uh, let's take a look under the hood too. So basically no added expenses on the interior, right? Yeah, that's one of the most overlooked costs. Like people don't realize how expensive airbags and seat belts are. But luckily in this case, you know, we don't have to deal with any of that. So under the hood, looks brand new. I did clean it up a little bit, shiny plastic parts, but 40,000 miles, this thing's brand new. So overall, this thing has no damage, like just two doors, no frame damage, nothing like that. And 40,000 miles, like I said, I usually don't pick up regular cars like this. Like my S5 right there, which I'll reveal next week, next Saturday. Um, I usually get sports cars like that or the R32, but this thing was just such a good deal. $2,650 for an Accord with literally no damage. This is all cosmetic stuff, so the most important thing is, you know, no mechanical things were involved and yeah. you just swapped the doors out. And, and assuming the B pillar is fine, which we are <laughs> certain it is, mm -hmm. you're not gonna need any work on it. The fact that we won't even need any tools, just what, a flathead screwdriver and a 10 millimeter to replace the doors? I'm not even sure about the flathead. I think the 10 millimeter will be enough. What's the flathead for? For the rear bumper, like those clips and stuff. Oh, okay, yeah. But let's take a look at the parts, actually. So here are the doors, $100 per door, near perfect condition. All this could buff out. Look, it's coming off with my finger. And um, the same paint code? Same paint code, same everything. There's actually a lot number here. I'm gonna look it up on autoauctions.io and see the donor car. That's pretty cool. Uh, rear door, perfect as well. And then this rear bumper, which has a little bit of damage, but for $100, I can't complain, you know? Same color. That right there, quick sneak peek at the damage, but I'm gonna reveal that on Saturday. Absolutely stole that thing. It was super cheap. That's a 2017 Audi S5 with just 17,000 miles. We like low mileage cars on this channel. So right now we're gonna pull the cord into the garage and put the doors on, put the bumper on, and it's gonna be done.
So as you guys just saw, I replaced both doors, put on the door panels. Everything's looking really good. Same color paint. The panels are in. The car looks completely done. Not only does it look completely done, it is completely done. Panels are in, mirrors in. I just have to get all these extra hinges out, get the tools out, vacuum it one more time, get all this auction writing off the windows, get this marker off and wash it. And then it's gonna be ready for a price reveal. Right now, I'm gonna go to the car wash, clean this thing up, and then we'll do one last full walk around and break down the pricing of everything. I'm super excited. This was a very fast build. I got all the parts in one day and you guys just saw it took literally a couple minutes to put this thing all together. All these parking stickers have to go. Now I just have to get rid of these doors. I'm going to end up recycling them because it's not worth anyone's time to fix this if they could get them for $100 and I don't want to waste time posting it. So these are going to get recycled right away. Bumpers getting recycled as well. And with that being said, let's head over to the car wash, clean this thing up, get these stickers off, and then get to the full price breakdown. But I'm happy that I did it so fast because now I could point my focus towards the fun cars like this S5. As you can see, I started collecting some parts already. The fender's on its way, the suspension's on its way, and I'm still looking for a mirror. But this thing is gonna be a super quick build as well. If you don't already know, I like very light damaged cars like the S5, the Accord, and my R32 that I showed you guys last week. So big plans for this thing. I'll probably upgrade it, do a pulley upgrade, tune, exhaust. Super excited for that one. Let's get back to this Accord, bring it to the car wash, clean it up, and then do a full price breakdown. As you guys just saw, I installed a new battery, I changed the oil, cleaned the windows, took all that auction writing off, and now this thing is 100% complete. As promised earlier in the video, I'm gonna do a full price breakdown. Let's start with the winning bid. The winning bid on this thing was $2,650, which I was super stoked that I got the car so cheap. After I won the car, all the fees added up, and I ended up paying $3,168 to the auction, which I'll do a fee breakdown right here. You're probably wondering why they were so much. So here's the breakdown. As soon as I paid to the auction, I arranged for shipping. Shipping to my location cost me $140. It was some guy on a single car trailer. 140 is not a bad price to ship this thing. I think it was like over 100 miles. So super happy about that. 
As soon as I received the car, I immediately checked out the condition of both doors and the rear bumper. I determined that I'm going to end up replacing them and hopped on car-part.com to find a local junkyard selling them. I got very lucky and one junkyard had a complete parts car that looks like this and they had all the components there. They recently acquired it and because I was buying three parts, they let me negotiate the price down to $300. So I ended up paying $100 for the front door, $100 for the rear door, and $100 for the rear bumper, which was an amazing deal. Same color. As you can see, it matches perfectly. I did have to swap my own mirror back to the new doors and I swapped the door panels, but that was not a problem. Once that was done, I proceeded to start the car to move it. I wanted to bring it to the car wash. It turns out the car was not starting and I used my Harbor Freight jump starter. I got the cheapest $60 one and even that couldn't start the car. So I determined the battery was like super dead. It was like 17 degrees and I guess the cold killed it or something. So I ended up buying a new battery for $120 and while doing the battery, I did the basic maintenance as well. I changed the oil, which cost me $35. The battery was 120 and that's all I did to this car. The steam cleaner I actually bought specifically for this car because it was so dirty before I revealed it. That was $85 for the steam cleaner. I'll probably include it in the full price because I wouldn't have bought it if it wasn't for this car. Now the grand total, after all those things added up, I want to hear from you guys. Do you think that's a good deal? Bad deal? Okay deal? To me, this was an excellent deal. I had a lot of fun because it was so easy. This was one of the best experiences I had with an auction car. Now, this doesn't happen all the time. I was just very lucky this time. I chose not to do a pre-purchase inspection of this car because the hit was so light. And I ended up getting lucky because there's no, no rust or anything. The car is in very good shape. This is definitely one of my luckiest wins, but I have been getting very lucky recently, like this S5 that I got for literally 70% off. So that's gonna be my next project. I'll reveal that soon. I just wanted to get this Accord done and out of the way because it was so quick and easy. And now I can focus on some of the longer projects like this S5. And I have a couple things to finish up with the R32, but this thing's out of the way. This is the last time I'll feature the Accord on the channel, but I think I'll feature more builds like this. These super quick one video builds start to finish. You guys seem to enjoy them, so I'll keep them coming. I always love finding a good deal like auto auction rebuilds. And Sam Crack, I love the car Sam Crack gets with very minor damage. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't seen the R32 build, I highly suggest it. I did most of the work in the first video. And if you like this type of video, let me know. I'll do more of these single video builds. And yeah, this thing's coming up next. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.